It was a really cold October day when it was finally time to pack the van and get ready for my trip to Germany. I have not been in Germany for over two years and it's kind of strange how a place where you spend most of your life is so naturally not part of your reality anymore. I guess it's just not much left that draws me there. It mostly reminds me of an old life, an old me, while right now I feel so much more like looking into the future than the past. But of course this time, like I shared with you in my last video, I had some very good reasons to make this trip. First my mother will move to a house on a farm nearby for this winter and maybe even longer and we were getting some belongings of her and then of course it was also finally time to pick up our new dog which is something we have been looking forward to for months now. The decision to get a second dog we actually already made over a year ago and it's quite a story how we found her, which I will tell you later in this video. But when I was on my way to Germany we actually only have met her through videos and photos and all I had was my intuitive feeling that told me that she would be the perfect addition to our little family. And even though I have learned to trust this kind of feeling, of course my mind kept wandering off into worries. How it will all be, what if I'm wrong, what if Ivy will not get along with her and also just being in a big city again actually gets more and more overwhelming and strange the longer I'm living the life that we are living. So all in all, I was quite an emotional mess the whole trip, but at the same time also just relieved to finally be on the way. I guess worries are often so much worse before something is happening and then it's good to finally get things started and just take one step after the other. It's Friday today and tomorrow we will pick up our new dog. And then it's already time to go home. I am so looking forward to come home. I am so exhausted and I'm really homesick. <laughs> Yesterday we got the things for my mother. She has already emptied her flat and we got a few, yeah, a few of her belongings um, to come with us to Norway. And for that we had to get into the city with the van, which of course is always a bit stressful. It's a lot of traffic. It's a lot of very narrow streets with a lot of cars and very many very aggressive people who are just cutting you off in traffic and yelling at you. And I don't know, I'm just kind of not used to it anymore. These things don't happen <laughs> when you live at the Fehmund Lake in Norway. But yeah, now everything is ready and uh, we also have been shopping for <laughs> our new dog, for our new family member, got all the things that she needs and now everything is ready and yeah, tomorrow we will pick her up and take her with us home. Uh, I don't think though that I will film that much tomorrow because of course we don't know the people and we also yeah just want to take our time a little bit to get to know her first so i will maybe just film a little bit on the journey and then of course when when she arrives on sunday it's going to be very exciting i think for Lena and her mother to come with our newest family member. They have been driving for a very, very, very long time. 
And I think I heard them up there now. <laughs> I'm so, so excited and scared and happy <laughs> everything to see. Alva, Alva is now with us for four days already and as you can see she's already quite brave and very very curious to explore her new life. Yeah she actually really doesn't know anything about the human world so far. She only has been living on the street and then in a kennel. So she does know humans, but uh, she doesn't know the concept of a house or how to walk on a leash or everything like that. So we are really starting from scratch with her. And when she arrived here, she was of course also very, very afraid and she also slept quite a lot. She had a lot to digest, I guess, from the long drive and everything. So on Monday, we just pretty much just let her be. Just made some contact and uh, yeah, got to know each other a little bit. And then yesterday, on Wednesday, she actually dared to come out of her box the first time. It was a very sweet moment. Yeah, yesterday she also met Ivy for the first time because Ivy has been in one of our other cabins here the whole time. So one of us has always been with her and one of us has been with him and of course that's <laughs> this dog. So yesterday they met and now it's obviously eating time. Yeah, where was I? I wanted to tell you about how the two met yesterday. It was very sweet. Ivy was so insecure. I really don't know that from him. And they were both very, very excited. And yeah, I think it was a really good communication. They were both giving each other space, but they were also like, yeah, very curious and yeah, it's so sweet. They're really like two teenagers on a first date. Ivy is so shy and insecure and she 
I think she has a little crush. I think she really wants to meet him. Also when he's here in the house, she always looks and she always wants to say hello, but Ivy's still a little bit insecure and uh, a little bit overwhelmed, I think. Um, so he just needs some time. But I think and I hope that it will go well. She's like Ivy, quite a personality. So I think they can make a great fit. It's definitely a very exciting process and yeah, quite a big change here in our family and I'm very excited to see how it will all develop. Hmm. Our family has grown. Our living room is currently turning a little bit into an art workshop, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, probably for the whole next month because, yeah, actually Christmas yeah. is here very soon. It is. And uh, Christmas is always our main season, of course, mm -hmm. for our online store. And we have got these really sweet wooden um, uh, Christmas, uh, how do you say? Christmas mm -hmm. orbs. Christmas orbs and um, yeah I think you panicked a little bit <laughs> with everything you have to do it's really a lot because of course we have um, the Christmas launch in one month and then that's uh, actually also something very exciting that we wanted to share with you yeah. uh, do you want to tell me? sure so it's not just a Christmas launch which is anyway our biggest launch of the year mm -hmm. Uh, but in addition to that, for the first time ever, we're actually going to go to a market. Yes, we are going to be on the Euros Christmas oh. market this year. <laughs> it's yeah, very exciting. It's the first time we're ever uh, doing. We're ever doing something yeah. like this, and um, yeah. So if you're in Norway, mm -hmm. you're very welcome to come by and say hello. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a stand there and sell uh, our products. Yeah. Mm. So Joachim has a lot to do with the Christmas launch and the Christmas market afterwards. And I just, yeah, really thought that I um, wanted to help somehow, but of course I didn't really didn't know how. And then we yeah, kind of remembered that of course I, I also can paint. I'm not like that bad. <laughs> no, you can. It's you paint really wonderfully. Mm -hmm. We painted together almost two years ago now, and now we thought about merging these worlds. So Lena will be painting too, and we will actually be painting together mm -hmm. uh, for the actual, the tiniest little details. I'll still be finishing. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, it's. Uh, I feel very honored <laughs> <laughs> that I am allowed to have my hands in Joachim's painting. Absolutely, I would it's... not allow anyone else this, <laughs> but I'm really, really happy about this. I guess our evenings <laughs> where we will spend on this living room table and paint all these wooden... Um, orbs. Orbs. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very exciting. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, a lot of work. Oh, yeah. But I'm also really looking forward to it.
so the winter has arrived overnight and yep yeah, I'm looking forward to see what I will say about the snow yeah she wants to go outside now let's go come baby what is here passiert Das ist ja komisch, ne? Komm mal hier, siehst du? Ja, Sophie! Wuppala, wo bist du? Da. Na, was sagst du zum Schnee? Winter! Da kommt die zweite. Oh, it's such a pain with this leash. I don't think that she would run away, but I'm really not daring to let her free yet. Nee, aber du machst es so fein. Yes. Well. Ne, kann dir bei ihm. We really had the most beautiful week, like it has been like this the whole time, it's so incredibly beautiful, it's completely still, we have no wind, the whole lake is just, yeah, it's like, it's so quiet and it's all like foggy and then the sun comes through and it's so, so magical and incredibly cold we had the first minus 20 degrees celsius yesterday and everything is just frozen and sometimes when i walk here it's 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 like yeah it, it really seems unreal sometimes and this frozen world it's every winter i'm just amazed by this But yes, um, of course, I also wanted to tell you um, a bit more about Alva's history. I completely forgot that to do that um, before we got her or also when she arrived at all. It has been just, uh, yeah, so much. And now, yeah, she really has arrived. Uh, it's crazy. She's now with us for, I think, four weeks. And she really is a different dog from when she arrives. There's not really so much fear left 
<laughs> it definitely is very clear now that she is a teenager and she has a lot of energy and it's so wonderful to see how she um, trusts more and more in us and also with Ivy they are so incredibly cute together it's like all that I have wished for they are playing and it really opens my heart to see Ivy finally having someone to play with and to run with and um, she's really doing a great job and it's it's amazing how, how how quick it all goes she makes yeah so huge steps every day and she just fits in our family very very well and uh, yeah of course as I said I wanted to tell you a little bit more about where she's from because I know I'm I've already received some questions about that if she's also street dog and everything like that so um, the story actually begins uh, last year already because last winter we made the decision or we had the idea to get a second dog for the very first time and of course the most important thing was that this dog would get along with Ivy so I pretty much immediately had a very very clear image of what kind of a dog it should be so it definitely would have to be a she dog and no puppy because I know that would have just annoyed Ivy very very much <laughs> but uh, still young enough to um, yeah to get him to play and to bring this new energy and also rather a bit anxious than to too confident. I just had this image of Ivy showing her how things work and so on. I I know that he likes this kind of stuff to be like the cool guy who knows who knows everything. Pretty much just for fun I started to look around a bit and I found her and she was just perfect and I found her on the same website where I also found Ivy and as you might know, Ivy was a former street dog from Romania. I adopted him when I still lived in Germany. Uh, he came from directly from Romania then. Unfortunately, here in Norway, it is not so easy to adopt a street dog. There are a little bit of a different rules and constrictions. So um, it seemed a little bit like a very crazy idea. So I pretty much just let that go again and we started to look around a little bit here in Norway and somehow no dog really seemed to fit and and then it was August and of course I every now and then checked on the website and checked on her and could never really let her go and she was still looking for a new home and I thought I can at least just call them and explain the situation and um, I pretty much expected them to just say no so that I can just at least then have closure with this whole topic but they were actually very open because of course I have already adopted a dog from them and I know the people and after these eight months she actually matched the criteria to be allowed here and as I planned to go to Germany in autumn anyways yeah suddenly it just didn't seem like that much of a crazy idea anymore and it was very very sweet because um, of course I then also asked about more pictures of her because the only pictures that I've seen was when she just arrived from the streets and she was just uh, rescued and there she was still very very afraid and I then received uh, the new picture from her and you really wouldn't believe it but she literally smiled in the camera like <laughs> I think she felt that somebody was interested in her and I think she she really wanted to present herself from her best side <laughs> and so yes it all kind of happened um, I know it's probably very crazy and uh, maybe also a little bit stupid <laughs> I really believe that um, yeah sometimes things are just meant to be like this and it's very clear that she belongs to us and yeah it's definitely a new new spirit right now in our family and that's very wonderful and um, yeah I 
hope you enjoyed taking part a little bit in this new chapter of our family. After all the dog action and readjusting, we are slowly finding back into our routines while still putting all our energy into the production for the Christmas market and our art shop, of course, where we actually just released the Christmas collection. With that, I also want to say a big thank you to everybody who has already ordered from us and supports us and what we do. Almost all the packages are packed now and we are really looking forward to send them out into the world and for you to receive your pieces. So as always, I'm sending all the best wishes to you. I hope that you had a good day and I hope that you take really good care of yourself and I will see you very, very soon again. Bye-bye.